EPA's bold new move of banning gasoline vehicles is going to cost you more money. Here we go again. Now California wants the federal government to agree to a nationwide ban on gasoline vehicles. And California has asked the Biden administration to approve its plan to require all new vehicles sold in the state by 2035 to be either electric or plug-in electric hybrids. This is a landmark move that could speed up the end of gasoline-powered vehicles. And this is according to a letter seen by Reuters. If you don't live in California, here's why you need to care because 17 states follow California and the rulings from the California Air Research Board known as CARB. Not carburetor, but CARB. I know, it's funny. Car manufacturers won't build cars for just one state's rules. So when one state who sells the most cars in the United States changes the ruling, manufacturers shift their plans and make one car for North America. This is where the impact is huge. But before we go further, I want to remind you to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. We give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles, we give you car smarts because knowledge is power. In August, CARB asked the Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA, to approve a waiver under the Clean Air Act to implement its new rules that set yearly rising zero emissions vehicle rules starting at 2026 and would end the sale of vehicles powered by only gas by 2035. Under an EPA proposal released in April of last year to drastically cut vehicle emissions through 2032, automakers are forecast to produce 60% electric vehicles by 2030 and 67% by 2032 to meet the requirements compared to just 5.8% of US vehicles sold in 2022 that were EVs. That's a huge jump. The rules mandate that 35% of the new cars sold would be plug-in, hybrid electric or PHEVs, EVs or hydrogen fuel cell by 2026. That proportion will rise to 68% by 2030 and 100% by 2035. Again, crazy numbers. A growing number of states are adopting California's electric vehicle rules that are more stringent than what the Biden administration had proposed. Rhode Island, Washington, Virginia, Vermont, Oregon, New York, and Massachusetts are adopting the California requirements. Mandates or not, most consumers will not be paying tens of thousands of dollars for new gasoline vehicles by 2035 because plug-in hybrid electric vehicles will be allowed, and I imagine that most gasoline vehicles will be forced to transition to PHEV systems to even remain competitive by sheer figures of efficiency and performance, which means they'll be offering electric and plug-in hybrid only. So if this doesn't infuriate you enough, this is the kicker. California is falling far short of its energy needed to power the EV grid. Governor Gavin Newsom signed an executive order in 2020 mandating that all new passenger cars and light trucks sold in California starting in 2035 must be zero emissions. California will fall 20% short of generating the necessary electricity to meet the state's 100% mandate for electric vehicles. And this is according to a new report released by the California free market think tank, the Pacific Research Institute. They stated California's green energy mandates will require more energy from the electricity grid instead of fossil fuels, making it less likely that the grid can generate the necessary power. Quote, these policies jeopardize California's energy security and without a miracle leap in technology are setting us up for future energy shortages. The report argues that the mandate will create energy shortages in California. Additionally, the report said that the state must increase its alternative energy supply by 86% to comply with the electric vehicle mandate. Today's news report confirmed this problem. California can't generate enough power to fuel its electric vehicle mandate. But news reports today are asking people to not use their air conditioning and to reduce their electricity usage, including plugging in their EV. But wait, there's even more craziness. The cost of electricity is going up for some. Most of the time when you pay for your electricity or your water, or your gas, it depends on how much you use. You leave on the air conditioning, you leave on the lights or the TV all night, and your electricity bill will go up. 
that makes sense. But California is about to challenge that basic logic in an attempt to curb rising rates and help electricity for the state's approximately 14 million homes. A new state law will require utilities to charge customers fees for electricity based not only on how much electricity they use, but also how much money they make. Yes, you heard that correctly. You get a raise from your job and you now pay more for electricity that sort of absorbs that raise. Depending on the proposal the state ultimately adopts, Californians making more than $180,000 a year could end up paying an average of $500 more in their annual electricity bill. While the lower income residents would save around $300 per year, the proposed changes are causing, as you expected, big backlash. The debate beginning in California touches on the question that all states will have to face sooner or later. Now do I have you fired up? Wait till that increase comes to your state and then we'll see how mad you are. If you like this video, you can give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, I'll be more than happy to answer. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link is in the description. Plus all the links for our website, social media, the book, and the podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.